Reading Pioneers is proud to present A Valentine for Tommy by Wendy Wax, illustrated by Robert Roper. On Valentine's Day, Tommy got a box from Grandpa Lou and Lulu. Inside was a hippo named Harry. Stu read the tag on Harry. I need a little oven. A little oven? Tommy said. Where are we going to get that? Dee Dee called Betty. There is a Valentine's Day sale on pajamas, she said. We should take the babies shopping. Good idea, said Betty. Tommy left Harry at home. He waved goodbye as they drove away. When they got to the store, Charlotte and Angelica were on their way to buy pajamas too. Look who is here, said Dee Dee. Tommy could not believe his eyes. Harry was in the store window, staring right at him. How did you get here, Harry? Tommy asked. He cannot hear you, said Angelica. He's all locked up. Maybe he escaped from home because he really needs to find that little oven, suggested Chucky. We need to get him one afore someone takes him away, exclaimed Tommy. Cute pajamas, right? Betty exclaimed. Whee! The moving stairs took the babies to the second floor. I hope I win the jelly bean counting contest, said a girl on her way down. Wow, said Tommy, when he saw the jelly beans. Whoever counts the most wins, Angelica explained. I count one million and six. I win. One, two, three. One, two, three, counted the babies, popping jelly beans into their mouths. Yum! We should get out of here, Chucky said. Then Tommy's eyes lit up. Come on, guys! I know where to find a little oven for Harry. Kimmy peered around the giant dollhouse. How is this? she asked, holding up a tiny oven. Great, said Tommy. Harry will love it. Harry never told me his whole family lived here, Tommy said, gasping. He probably got lost trying to find them. They are all twins, Lil said Phil. They look more alike than we do, said Lil. We should bring Harry a sister to play with, said Chucky. Yeah, he is all alone in the window, said Tommy sadly as he reached for a hippo. Oops! I guess they all wanted to visit Harry. He is almost as popular as me, said Angelica. They sure must miss him, said Tommy. Those people do not look too happy, said Chucky. Oops, said Lil. I think we cut in front of them. I had no idea they were in line for this ride with the moving stairs, said Phil. Look, 
said Tommy. There is Harry! The babies walked over to the display window entrance. Now we can bring him back home, said Kimmy. Maybe this is not such a good idea, said Chucky. Hi, Harry, said Tommy. Here is your little oven. And here is your sister to keep you company. I love you, Tommy said, sniffling. But you should stay with your family. You can come visit me any time you want. Look, Tommy, new pajamas for you and Dill, exclaimed Dee Dee. Do you like what I got for you, pups? Betty asked Phil and Lil. Red is your color, princess. These are perfect for you, Charlotte said to Angelica. I am glad I do not have to wear those things, Kimmy whispered to Chucky. Harry, Tommy said. You came back, so you do love me as much as I love you. Tommy gave Harry a big hug. Maybe your brothers and sisters can come play with us sometime, Tommy said. I am sorry you left your little oven at the store, Harry, Tommy said at bedtime. We will get another one when we visit your family. Maybe we can get a little sink too. Thank you everyone for joining us today with the story, A Valentine for Tommy. I really like the story because it shows how much Tommy would do for Harry the Hippo. So my question to you is, what type of things are you willing to do for the ones that you love? Comment below what you would do for your Valentine. If you're as curious as Tommy and the gang, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to this YouTube channel to keep up to date with all future videos and stories being read by Reading Pioneers. If you enjoyed this Valentine's Day story, there are a couple of other Valentine's videos that you may enjoy while celebrating Valentine's this year. But now this video must come to an end. So until next time, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.